what is class loader and how it works in java so class loader are basically used to load a dot class file into the memory okay so now we will see where from where we get this dot class file okay so whenever we write any java program it is always with the extension dot java and when we compile this program it gets converted to the dot class file right so now we have to load this dot class file into the memory so that our program can make use of this dot class file right so the loading of this dot class file into the memory is been done by the class loader so this class loader is a part of java runtime environment okay and it dynamically load the java classes into the memory at runtime only it doesn't it does not load all the classes in memory in one go okay it load the classes when it is required by the application or we can say this class loader will not load all the classes in one go it will load whenever it is required based upon the requirement it will load the classes into the memory so different type of class loader there are basically three type of class loader the first one is bootstrap class loader it is basically used to load the dot class files which are present in the java home jre lib rt dot jar okay so now we will see where exactly this location is and which files does this bootstrap class loader loads so this is our java home okay inside the lib we have sorry inside the jre we have this lib and here we have this rt.jar right so in this rt.jar whatever the files are there that will be loaded by the bootstrap class loader now we will see what all file so this is our rt.jar i have unzipped this and these are the files okay let's go to this sun core okay suppose while running the program our program or our application requires this bridge permission dot class file right so we have to load this class file into the memory so the loading of this class file into the memory is been done by the bootstrap class loader so the next class loader is extension class loader it is basically used to load the dot class files which are present in the java home jre lib ext folder ext is the extension folder okay so this is our java jre lib and ext folder okay so the duty of extension class loader is to load all these classes all these dot class files into the memory the third is application or system class loader it is used to load the dot class files which are present in the class path so how class loader works so whenever jvm come across a particular class i mean while running the program jvm come across a dot class or any class first it will go and check where, uh, whether this class is already loaded in the memory or not if it is loaded then jvm will use that class file and will continue its program if the class is not loaded then jvm will ask class loader to load that particular class into the memory then class loader loads that class and it follow three principle the first is delegation hierarchy model visibility and uniqueness now we will see what all three are okay so first is delegation hierarchy principle so what happens the jvm will ask class loader subsystem to load a particular class right so class loader subsystem will ask this application class loader to load the class the application class loader will delegate his work to the extension class loader then extension class loader will delegate it to the bootstrap class loader so now bootstrap class loader has to search the particular dot class file and this bootstrap class loader is the parent of extension class loader and extension class loader is the parent of application class loader so we can say this bootstrap class loader is the parent of extension and application class loader okay so now bootstrap class loader will start for the searching i mean will start his searching in the rt.jar for that particular dot class file suppose bootstrap class loader is not able to find that class then he will ask extension class loader that i am not able to find it so can you please check in your ext folder now extension class loader will start his searching in the ext folder okay suppose uh, the extension class loader is able to find the class then what will happen the class loader will stop its working okay because we have found the class then the actual java program or the application will start its execution now suppose the dot class is not even present in the ext class loader then extension class loader will ask application class loader to start the search in the class path and in class path also that class is not present in that case we will get class not found exception okay so visibility principle 
it says that a class loaded by parent class loader will be visible to child class loader but a class loaded by child class loader will not be visible to his parent class loader so okay suppose a class interview mania dot class is there okay and this class has been loaded by the extension class loader then this class will only be visible to the extension class loader who has loaded it and to the application class loader which is the child of this extension class loader okay and this class will not be visible to the bootstrap class loader because bootstrap class loader is the parent of extension class loader right we have just read it so that is why class loader follow this delegation hierarchy principle so next thing is uniqueness principle what exactly is this the uniqueness principle says that the classes are unique and there is no repetition of classes okay this also ensure that the class which are loaded by parent will not be loaded by the child class loader because if the class is loaded by parent then class loader will stop its working and our application will start its execution right if the parent class loader is not able to load a particular class then only the it will delegate his work to the child class loader we have already seen this in the diagram so sometimes this question is even asked what is java.lang.class not found exception so class not found exception is a checked exception and occurs when class loader tries to load a particular class but all the three class loader like bootstrap application and extension class loader is not able to find that particular class so in that case we get this class not found exception so in this video this much only if you like the video please subscribe to the channel in next video i will bring some more class loader interview questions thank you